Who do you know that's scared to make a move? Hey, thanks for tuning back in. My name is Robert Mack with Five Realty, and today I want to know if you know anyone that's scared to make a move. Maybe it's you. Let's talk about the market for a second. Right now, in Orange County, for the month of June, we actually have the lowest amount of inventory for a June that we've seen in over 10 years. So when we're talking about sales in general and we're talking about supply and demand, supply is way down, which means demand is up. So today I want to talk to you about how's the market, right? Because everyone always says, Robert, how's the market? I heard it's really bad right now. Well, I think using the word bad is actually not a great word choice. The, the word we should be using is dynamic or maybe different because here's the reason, folks. There's always a reason why it's not a good time to buy or sell. Let's talk about the market in 2021 when everybody was saying how hot the market was. Well, I don't know, but if you ask me, it wasn't really that great for buyers other than the fact that rates were in the high twos, low threes, and maybe sometimes in the fours. So affordability wise, a buyer could justify significantly overpaying for a property because their monthly payment was lower because their rates were low. That said, from my perspective, you know, buyers were having to compete against 30, 40, 50 other buyers Buyers were having to submit offers 10, 15, 20% above actual market value. So when you're talking about, oh, the market was hot then, I'm not really sure what that means because the bottom line is, is buyers were grossly overpaying for properties because they were justifying their decisions because rates were low. Is that a good market, a bad market, a wild market? And now all of a sudden the rates are higher and a lot of people are like, oh, the market's not good right now. Well. From my perspective, inventory is low, which means demand is high. And so right now, homeowners are still selling for top dollar, even though the rates are in the high sixes and the low sevens. So the message for everyone out there that's watching is, you can't just say the market is and then insert one word. The market is extremely complicated, right? If you're a buyer, the market's different for you than if you're a seller. If you're a seller, then the market's different for you than for an investor. And so when you're talking about how is the market, you really need to start figuring out how is the market for you? What are your goals? What do you want to accomplish, right? Are you looking in the sub $500,000 price point? Are you looking in the uh, $1 million to $2 million price point? Are you looking in the $4 million price point or above? Every city, every geographical area may offer different results. Every price point offers different results. The type of sale offers different results. So how's the market is an impossible question to answer. If you haven't figured that out by now, I don't have an answer for you when it comes to how's the market because it depends on you and your specific situation. That said, if you want to learn more about what the market is like for you and your specific needs, that's a quick conversation. We can jump on the call. We can learn more about you. You can learn more about us. We can talk about the market and your goals and figure out, is it a good time to make a move or should we wait? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time.